Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast and happy Sundays. Me and Dana are back. I hope you enjoyed the podcast where Shashwat and Arun were talking about Sapiens. Please do put in the comments and uh, what books maybe you would like Shashwat and uh, Arun to talk about and maybe they can get down to reviewing those books for you guys. Meanwhile, my Gen Z buddy is back and he has lots of questions. Good questions. And I hope those answers which I give him are helpful for you too and kind of sets you up for the week ahead. So what do you have for me, Dana? After the election, sir, mm. there is a little correction happened, then the market has goes in your rocket way. Mm. All the indexes and uh, many of the stocks are reaching its lifetime high. Correct. So right, right now, overall, many stocks are reading the all-time high and the uh, record high was Correct. gone up. It's up in by a, 12%, man. Right. Mm. So, and then, in our portfolio, mm. like, we are having some, some, some kind of stocks. So, mm. that stocks are reached also a yeah, all-time high. So right now my question is, this shares are hitting the all-time high. What we need to do? Like, uh, does this share meet its high overall value, or it still have the runway to grow potentially? And what we need to do in the in the stocks? Let me give a first a caveat to this. The stocks we always talked about and we continue to talk about mm. are companies which we feel could be bought and held mm. for a long time. Long time. Yeah. And when you keep that in reference, then you should be sipping these stocks. Mm. For a long period of time, you should already be sitting. We never ask you to go lump sum, mm. like drop a lot of money on a single stock at a go, because you will tend to lose and you'll get nervous and you'll feel like exiting the market. So keep that in mind. When we do talk about these stocks, if you've already been buying, then you should continue doing Tiffin Coffee. Mm. This is purely an intellectual conversation. Okay. okay. What we're discussing, mm. meaning where the stock is, where the price is. This discussion should not make you either buy mm, or, or should not make you sell. All it should give you is some thought about markets, markets and investing and how it works. Other than that, you should not be taking this as <laughs> guide, <laughs> guidance. guidance for doing anything with your portfolio. Correct. Other than listening to this conversation, giving you some food for thought. Right. So I wanted to mention that before we get into it. Right. So what is this stock? So what do you first company you want to talk about? Dr. Reddy Slab. Doctors ready slab. So, right. so it is right now trading at six thousand eight hundred and thirty-six today. But the all, but the all time high was six nine It's almost yeah, almost at yeah, yes, almost. So what's your view about that? Well, the problem with Doctor Ready, let's look at PE of the stock. It is at twenty, right? And if you look at a mean of twenty uh, PE ratio of ten years, mm. it usually be trading around at twenty-seven point five. Twenty-seven point five. Yeah. So if you see, there's still breathing room mm. as far as PE is concerned. Okay. And if you look at the EPS growth for the last three years, it's been growing at an average of 41, which is phenomenal. Okay. So the price is justified. Justified. Yes. Right now. But like I said, 6,800 rupees is not Tiffin coffee. <laughs> but even for me. You also. <laughs> yeah. I, even if I go to Taj and have dosa idli, I will not be 6,800 rupees for dosa idli in Taj. Correct, okay, sir. if I correct, had correct. one plate masal dosa and I ordered one cappuccino coffee there, I will not pay being 6,800. For 6,800, I'll probably spend a night in Taj. So that is my warning on the stock. Mm. Because if you have only little money mm. to invest, Dr. Reddy might be out of your reach. Okay. But the good news is, Dr. Reddy is talking about stock split. Okay. Right? Mm. If they do a stock split, it will give an entry point for an investor. For, for us. us. Okay, so let's say they say each stock has become, one stock has become 10. One is 10. Right. Then I will also enter, sir. Yeah, because it will become 600 rupees. Correct. Overnight, correct. from 6,800, the price will become 600 rupees. Six of course, there's no change in terms of price to earnings. Mm -hmm. That PE stays the same. PE stays. But it allows, opens a gate for people like us, entry level for entry us. Entry level. So that is something to keep an eye on. So Dr. Reddy, yes, keep an eye on it. And if you do have a lot of moolah lying around mm -hmm. and you are more courageous than I am, then you can look at definitely sipping the stock. But keep in mind, 6,800 for Gen Z and for you and me, it's a lot of money. Lot of money. So I would say pause to think about it. That would be my advice. My considerations are there. This is still have the long potential. Of course it has. If we are looking at 10 years time, Dr. Reddy, 10 years from now, will probably be trading at 25,000, 30,000 rupees. If it stays without splitting, wow. without bonus. If I'm just saying, as mm. is, it stays like this. Because the EPS itself will push. Everyone needs medicine. Correct, sir. Everyone is still falling sick. Mm. We still have a problem. We have a human body. If all other problems we solve, energy problem we solve, we solve all other food problems, there's no more war, 
But the fundamental problem is we still have a human body. Till we can get rid of the human body, we still need medicines. We still need, need doctors. doctors. Yeah. So this business will stay here <laughs> as long as human beings have bodies. So I feel Dr. Reddy will always be a good company to buy as mm. long as the debt, they don't burden themselves with debt mm. or they don't do something stupid with themselves. So still now it's a good company. So yes. next talk, sir. Mm. Next talk is uh, Manapuram Finance, sir. Manapuram. Let's look where Manapuram is. So it also, uh, it's all time I 2.30. Yes, it it is corrected since 2.30. It's at 2.07 now. Mm. But correction has not been big. But this stock is very unique. The reason why Manapuram is unique mm. is because Manapuram is buying gold in another form. What does Manapuram do as a business? So they are lending lending the money with the backup of gold. Yeah. So if you want to borrow money, you bring it to Manapuram. Mm. You leave your gold with him. And against that gold, as per RBI norms, he gives you a certain percentage of money. money. Right? Mm. So he is just basically sitting on gold. Okay. He's like a gold bank. People, other banks, people put money. Mm. In Manapuram Bank, they put gold in gold. So he's basically sitting on stocks of gold. Correct. So as gold prices move, his company prices mm. will also move. Mm. So if gold price becomes cheap, gold becomes mm. cheap, Manapuram stock will also become cheap. But gold will never come too cheap. Correct. So will gold ever reach zero? No. no. So Manapuram will also will never reach zero. zero. So that way, if you look at it, it is a stock which tracks gold prices and it gives dividend also. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a two-edged sword. It's like holding, go making gold investment. So you hold your storehouse of value. Mm. At the same time, you get dividend payout also, which is a plus. Mm. So it's a stock which I'll always say you should keep it in consideration. Okay. Especially when gold prices are cheap, mm. Manapuram will become cheap. So that is the time when we're looking at buying gold bees, you're looking at buying physical gold. You can also look at look at Manapuram. Finance. Yeah, you can consider. You know, if it's there, because Manapuram is cheap. Cheap. Two hundred rupees is affordable for a Gen Z. Definite different coffee. Different coffee. Yeah. Not different coffee. Hello. Great question. Hello. <laughs> it's definite coffee range at your Gen Z level. I've seen the kind of coffees you guys drink. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, you are not sitting in Sangeeta drinking 50, 60 rupee coffee. Okay. You guys, yeah. if I take you to Gen Z to a Sangeeta, Small. yeah. Anyway, so yes, Manapuram sir. is yes. Yeah, it's something you should always be in your radar. So it still have the potential to grow. So it always does. See, yes, I'm not, this is like I said in the beginning. Gold, mm. you see gold. Mm. When gold is in an all-time high, then you should not be thinking of Manapuram because gold will correct. Mm. Then you should also wait for Manapuram to correct. Okay, sir. Correct. The reason why Manapuram has come down from 230 is come down to 207 is mm. because you've seen gold also tracking like that. Mm. And especially after our finance minister gave a discount, discount on the gold. gold of six percent, it's corrected even further. On that day of budget day, it almost broke 200 barrier. It went to 201. Mm. Lots of people, including me, were picking it up. Okay. So, it is definitely something you should think of if you are looking at consolidating some gold. Okay, sir. Next one is also Muthur Finance. The same gold. We are brothers sisters. Okay. <laughs> Muthur is more expensive. That's the problem with Muthur. Mm. And Muthur has other advantages. They are doing other spin-off companies. So, when they spin off and split those companies, you will get shares in those companies. Manapuram has also got another small microfinance company inside itself, Actually. yeah, which they plan to float separately. If that floating happens and everything is done, you'll get shares in those companies also. So all these things, if you analyze and see, there's more potential for unlocking as an investor. Mm. It's just not gold, you know, it's a company. So it's there's lots of opportunities there. Same way, when there's internal fighting going on, the stock takes a beating. So you should also keep an eye on who's running the company and what's happening in the company also. Mm. It's not like buying gold. When you buy gold, not, nobody is, nobody no is. human is involved in the gold. Mm. They don't worry about it. <laughs> Here, it is a company. company. There are human beings running it. So, you should keep an eye on it at the same time. You just run up blindly, take Muthut and Manapuram like, ah, go to gold. <laughs> the logic behind investing is what I've explained. But the fundamentals, you always have to keep mm. an eye on. Muthut is also the brothers and sisters. Correct. Correct. So, like I said. Yes, sir. Another gold stock, sir. Hmm. Kalyan Jewelers. Kalyan Jewelers. Kalyan Jewelers is the other side of the spectrum. Mm. All time high is All 634. Is. Yes, sir. Right? Mm. Price to stock has gone to 98. So the horse has left the building. Peace yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. EPS growth. See, EPS growth for the last three years is, is 367. Huge amount. Yeah, huge amount. That is why the price is where it is. Mm. So people are assuming at this price point, if you buy and it continues growing at this, this price is justified because the stock will be. Somewhere on the moon, mm -hmm. like 3,000, 4,000 rupees in three years' time. Correct, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. Because to maintain this kind of growth. But I cannot forecast. Right? I cannot see the future. Can you see future? 
So, no one can see the future, yeah. sir. But there's an advantage for these guys when gold prices, they also track gold in reverse. Mm. When gold becomes cheaper, business for them becomes easier. More people will come to the shop to mm. buy gold. They're selling gold, right? The opposite of Manapuram. So, when gold price becomes cheaper, their stock prices will tend to right. go up. When gold becomes expensive, their stock That's prices will tend to come down. That's why all the jeweler associations were very happy when the finance minister gives 6% <laughs> discount. Because that means their business all got a boost. Correct, sir. So, on that day, if you saw, on the budget day, all their stocks, jewelry companies like this, Titan, all of them, Tangmai, well, all of them would have got a kick. Mm. Because overnight, it's become easier for them to do business. People are going to come and buy more gold. Gold has become cheaper. So, it's all plus plus for them. But at this price point, I would say, no. no. There are other opportunities. This is okay. my feeling. Okay, okay, I, that's, I would say, if I had 500 rupees with me today, mm. Yes, you can buy Kalyan Jalas. You're not going to lose money. Ten years time, you'll definitely make money. For the long term vision. Yes. But, but I would rather look at something else which is at a lower growth potential. Mm. That extra, I'll get that extra 3-4% of growth over the ten years. So, that's my opinion. Yes, I'm I not guess. saying it's a terrible company. Mm. Everything else you look at, it's great. Only thing is very expensive. Okay. The like Ganon says diamond needle. And there are people who say, you know, even if you keep buying just diamond needles and you hold it for 10 years, you will see returns. Mm. Yeah. But there are companies which are diamond needles, which 10 years have not seen growth. Okay. Like famously ITC, we discussed in one of our videos. Mm. If you had bought ITC at a certain time. That also in our list. list. Huh? Okay. Cool. So, let's take ITC for an instance. 10 years we look at. Let's say you bought ITC in uh, 2017. Mm. It was priced at around 200, 300. 300. And you held on for it. Five, five years. Yeah. Five years. Right. You will still wouldn't have seen any growth. Any growth. Yes, there has been dividend stock mm. and everything has been happening. But still, as just purely as a stock, if you're looking at it, you wouldn't have seen. All the growth you saw mm. was just in the last two years. Correct, sir. Correct. Mm. So, there are instances where, yes, the company is very good. But if you enter the company at a point where it's valued mm. high, you can be sitting at a high value. And ITC at this point, you should have bought ITC last year. Okay. Because look at the earning EPS is only 15%. 15%. But the PE has been pushed up by the market, market to 30%. The EPE is at 30. Believe it or not, during the pandemic, no one wanted ITC. Government Correct, was unloading sir. ITC. <laughs> you were getting ITC for 150, 140. Yeah. Time I missed it, sir. Yeah. At that time, Anand was on top of every single channel, Tom Tomming, saying mm. ITC, ITC, ITC. And everyone said, I. <laughs> saying ITC. ITC is dead and gone. Nobody wants ITC. Everyone said that. Mm. It was at 11 PE, 12 PE. At the time. Yeah. My brother told me, so I bought. I don't have a choice like you. You Gen Zs. You can choose. I am not Gen Z. I am Gen Anand. <laughs> so I have to do what my brother says. Jump by jump. That's what I am saying. Opportunities mm. come. So if you had bought at that point, right? That PE range. Imagine the kind of growth you've seen now. Yes, sir. If you look at and it over here. At even at 162, you're talking about almost 100, 200 percent gain growth. 200 percent growth. Yeah, but if you buy it at a 200 now, mm. you bought it at 200, you only see almost only 100 percent. So double growth. Mm. Right. So yeah, that's why. Yes. Yeah. So that is what the thing with Kalyan jewelers. Mm. So when you compare Kalyan jewelers like that, that's why I'm saying yes, Kalyan jewelers is a great company, no problem. Mm. But where market is priced it today, I don't know. There yeah. might be better opportunities. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. So, right now we finished uh, Kalyan Jolas and ITC also mm. we have been discussed. So, what about ITC, sir? Just in a uh, way. ITC is a great company. Great company. Yes. My opinion uh, also, it's a great yes, company. Yes, and we're going to spin off ITC hotels. Mm. So, if you have the stomach, because it's priced at this point and the market is due for a major correction. So, remember all this, right? If you're sipping and you've been sipping ITC for the last one year, two years, mm. then it's okay because you continue sipping, mm. right? Mm. And when I'm saying you're only doing Tiffin coffee, right? Mm. Tiffin coffee range means you can only, at the Gen Z level, you can only yeah, buy one share. So today you open, okay, I'm hungry, I'll have one masala dosa. That's it, Tiffin is over. Mm. So that's the attitude you should have. You should not be checking every single company on your list, okay? Because the problem happens in the restaurant also. You open the menu, you have full <laughs> choice. Uh, many of choices. 20 varieties of dosas, mm. 40 varieties of idlis. Okay. Coffee is itself on 100 varieties of coffee. You'll do two mistakes. One, you will not have anything because it's too confusing. Mm. Or you'll go to the other extreme mm. where you'll over order. Say, I feel like having one dosa. One idli. One idli. Suddenly everything is there on the table and it's too much food. 
and you're paying a lot of money and you waste all the food. Correct. Sir. This can happen in investing. So make your mind up that this month you're focusing on ITC. ITC. Next month you're going to focus on gold. Gold. Okay. okay? Mm. And if you keep looking at all our videos, you will keep getting all kinds of information. Mm. But you should be able to stop yourself from opening your app and except for those rare days when you see the market drop, correct, like, correct. you know, pre-election mm. drop, budget drop. Budget drop. That time, of course, you should participate. Those are sale times. No, I'm also the same kind of person that you're sir. I'm not Correct. opening the portfolio. Yes. So if you do that, trust me, you will be far bigger than me and Anand combined by the time you reach my age. If you keep on doing this on a regular basis, mm. over the next 20 years, you will compound at such phenomenal numbers. Correct, sir. Even the election time, the market down also. I, I'm investing, but not I'm focusing Correct. on my portfolio. And Correct. Actually. And if you do that, you also will not get tempted to doing trading. I that see. future options also you will not get tempted because mm. you won't see all that chart and mm. you will not see all those numbers because everyone's human if you like having a drink and you're sitting with everybody around the table and everyone's having a drink you'll also okay say it's a weekend man what is this just one it's okay anyway today me and uh, my gen z friend over here managed to talk about dr reddy we spoke about manapuram we spoke about the khalyan we spoke about mutu and we touched on itc too anyway I hope you found it informative and entertaining and understood why we're looking at these companies and how you should look at these companies. And whatever companies you're looking at, why don't you put it down in the comment below. So then I will have a look at those comments and bring those companies out and maybe we'll discuss those companies in the next video. He still has quite a few companies mm. on his list. Since we're only doing a Sunday video and not two videos this weekend, we thought we'll just stop at this point and next weekend we'll, we'll pick continue. up where he's left off and cover the remaining companies and definitely take the suggestions you have put down below and talk about those companies too. But do remember that we've always been advising you to get yourself a SEBI registered advisor. Mm. Me and Dana are not SEBI registered. We're not advisors. This is purely an intellectual, informative and entertaining discussion. It's not any kind of advice on what you should do with your money. And second is, if you do decide to invest, take it slow, take it easy, stay within your range and your comfort zone. Don't get zealous and try to go bite more than you can chew and get yourself into trouble. We hear lots of disheartening news of mothers and fathers and children getting swept up and caught up all in these future trade options mm. and it's rather distressing to see young people getting swallowed by this. It is very dangerous and like Warren Buffett says, these are weapons of mass destruction, especially families. So do be careful there. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Bye.